I've had a look through some of the most strange and horrifying dungeons in The Sims 4, because it wouldn't be a Sims game without a torture dungeon. If you head on over to the gallery, click on hashtag and type in FGG Dungeon, you get a ton of builds with hidden dungeons in them, and we're gonna be looking through these today. First build we're gonna be looking at is Aunt Martha Went Missing by Brain Frog. Oh my god, I sound sick. This Victorian mansion belonged to distant Aunt Martha. She vanished ages ago, but one day her testament stating you as the new owner is in your mailbox. Upon arrival, the place is an absolute disaster. Why did she give up her life in the suburbs for this dump? She had a tenant to afford the cost for the repair of the house, but was he the only roommate? Can you find the hidden habitat? What about those weird notebooks with the words close it all over? And where is her daughter? Okay, you are asking me way too many questions, and I feel like they're all gonna be answered except for where Aunt Martha is. I think she's gone, guys. Much like my sanity. Ugh. Is it normal to pass out? Welcome to Aunt Martha is Missing. Can I just say, this is already looking absolutely gorgeous. I know that there will be something in here to traumatize me, but for now, I don't care. We're gonna do a quick perimeter check real quick, even though I said quick twice. I really like this little window thing going on. Like, the little shutters on the windows are all different colors. Oh my god, I'm just clipping into everything. The shutters on the windows are all different colors, and it's really pretty. I don't know why you called this house a dump, because to be honest, it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, she's a little worn down. There are a couple of holes in the walls. But I really think it adds character. I absolutely love the backyard. I love the swings. I love everything about this. Like, it's kind of rickety, but I love her. I am ill and deranged, but it's not gonna stop me from going inside. Here we go to Aunt Martha's house. We are greeted immediately with the fact that she never fucking cleaned. Oh, wait, no, she's missing. That probably makes a lot of sense. If I sound stupid today, it's because I am sick. And I will use it as an excuse for everything. Here we have the living room. Okay, honestly, this is a vibe. I don't hate this at all. I think this is so cozy. This is so nice. I know there's gonna be a basement in here. These guys are having a conversation. I know that there's gonna be a fucking dungeon in here, something to fucking disturb me, but for now, oh my god, for now, I love this. Uh, we're gonna go in through this door. I'm just making the rounds. We have this lovely bathroom. You have used my sink hack, and I love that. I love the window situation. Oh, the toilet. I didn't even see the toilet. Oh my. Honestly, this is really cute. I love the vibes here. I'm not, like, I'm not even coming here with any expectations, to be honest. I want to stay over at this place. Do you think she let me stay? We're going to go through this door now on the other side of the front room. And this is the kitchen. Okay, we have some questionable design choices with the red ceiling, the obnoxious wallpaper, and the green floor with yellow rug. But honestly, auntie, she was very eccentric, very eclectic. And I actually don't... I Okay, you need to fix that. But I actually don't hate this. Like, you know, she was the fun aunt. Do you know what I mean? She was like wine drunk all the time also. Man, I miss her honestly. Bro, what the fuck am I talking about? We have this, like a hidden passageway. Okay, all right. We're gonna come back to this later, okay? I do not trust like that. We're gonna go see the upstairs first before you guys scar me for fucking life. We're gonna head upstairs. And this is definitely a lot better. She was really, really creative with the ceiling colors. She really liked color in here. Oh my God. Okay, there's a lot. I love that setup. We're gonna, just gonna go through this door. This is, I assume, her bedroom. Room. It's very, very chill. I love the green. I love the colors. Like, it kind of clashes, but at the same time, it's kind of nice. I don't know. This is really cozy. Are those doors? <laughs> All right, scooching on through to the next room over here. We have oh, a children's bedroom. Oh my God. Okay, this is cute. I feel like if you grew up in this house, you would be such a creative little soul. You'd also probably smell weird, but that's beside the point. We're gonna go through here. We have a lovely glitchy, glitchy room and a chess table. Very nice. We're each training the brains. Here you can experience the Bella Goth simulation. We're gonna head up to the attic now and oh my god, oh my, okay. I, wow, does this say anything? I feel like this would say words or something. Someone's been living up here. A fucking gremlin has situated themselves in this house. I feel like this says something. He, um, uh. I feel like this says something. Like that's an E and that's an M. That's a questionable that, what? I don't know what letter that is. I don't know what letter that is. That's H and an 
and E. You know what I mean? Like, it's two different... I don't understand what that says. Anyway, I'm sure it's not important. We're gonna go in the fucking dungeon now. Not the fucking dungeon, though. That's not in this build. Hopefully, you guys didn't fucking make one. Wait, there's like a little window in there. Oh, interesting. We're gonna go through here and... Uh, okay. Don't know what I expected. I literally made a challenge for you guys to make me a basement. And yeah, I'm fucking surprised. I mean, this doesn't look so bad. Oh, she's just got a little hidden bar in here and the baseball bat. Okay, I was about to say it's not that bad, but something about this just feels pretty bad. We'll go through this door first. And, oh, it's just a bathroom. Okay, you know what? I'm fine with this. There's nothing suspicious in here. We're just gonna go through this door now and pretend that there's nothing bad that's gonna be behind that door. Oh, she's just painting, guys. Honestly, this is just storage. Oh, wait, no. There is, there's more. You can see behind there. Oh, uh, lower. Okay, this is fucking great. Do this to a sick woman, why don't you? Okay, what? Uh, caution. Okay, that's a caution sign. Oh, my. Uh, you did not make a maze. You did not. Oh, my God. You know I fucking hate it. What is this? What does this mean? What is what is this mean? I'm sticking to the right, man. Ah, uh, the werewolf gnome. Should have guessed. I don't know if it's because I'm ill and I have, you know, had sudden delirium, but I have no fucking idea where I'm going or what is going on. I think I'm on the right track, though. Gaspacho is here. I don't, I don't know why I called him that, but I guess his name is Gaspacho now. How's it going? Auntie, you did not need to do all this. Like, I think some old women need hobbies, and she's definitely one of them. Why are there so many toys? Why is this taking me back upstairs? Who's been scratching? Where is the... Oh, oh, okay. No, that makes sense. Oh, wait, there's more. What the fuck? Okay, I am out of explanations. I, we're still going as well. That door is... Uh, I don't want to go in there. I don't think I want to know, to be honest. You know what, Auntie? Just stay. <laughs> Stop right there, citizen. I have something important to say, so I'm going to be loud about it. Ah! I just ran my first ever tabletop role-playing one-shot. It's me. I'm the dungeon master. Do you have autism? Do you like the sound of rolling dice? What if I took Dungeons & Dragons, The Witcher, and Lord of the Rings, and fucking mush them together. Would you like that? Damn right you would. Click up here to watch it now. If you have a fear of missing out, let me scare you. You're missing out. It's out now. Fuck it. Bye. Next build we're gonna be looking at is Matoshka's Palace by GoDude202. This challenges everything. Ghosts, guards, lava sirens, crazy cooks, hungry pets, angry statues, scorned admirers, and so much more. Defeat Matoshka. Best of luck. I feel like I have just been info dumped. And the sad thing is I did not retain any of what was said to me. Be a fake gamer girl. Go take a nap. Drink a cup of tea. You act like I haven't tried. I've had no sleep. Here we are at Matoshka's Palace. Now let me just say if there is a build that has ever been foreboding it is this one holy shit the bushes already girl i love the mood lighting i love how it gives kind of a black to red gradient i don't know it's really nice we're gonna do a quick perimeter check i was told that oh there's that guy i was told that this was a challenge and i'm not quite sure what the challenge is maybe it's just survival okay this is our way hold on this is actually sick i absolutely love it like this feels so magical and so cursed oh my god like dude i would die here honestly but we will enter this build the way that god intended and that was just through the fucking front door i am ready for this challenge i am perfectly equipped to face it and uh this is a fucking vibe this isn't mushtoka's palace this is my fucking palace there are spikes on the floor stairs i mean okay so people have been injured probably this is definitely a health and safety issue i'm not gonna go up the stairs i feel like that's a big ouchie owie uh this is probably the open back of the oh no there are lava sirens these are what i was told this is what i was told about okay all right okay wait no this is an actual challenge i see oh my god there were spikes on the floor i probably fucking stepped on those and lost already okay we are gonna do the oh okay so this is barricaded so we actually can't go through here this is like a video game level what the fuck is this okay so i gotta figure out how to get through here so i guess we we go down right there's no there's like no other way i can't get through anything else this is so clever actually it feels like an actual fucking video game even though i'm playing a video game so that is walled off so we're gonna go through here and okay <gasps> uh this is like he's like a big boss guy and he's gonna like stab me or something he seems like a big boss guy it seems like a boss room i'm gonna go through here instead and oh we're on the other side of this now which means i can go up the ladder and if i go up the ladder i'm over here now even though it was over there oh my god level design and because i am so acrobatic i'm gonna fucking monkey 
monkey bar across here. This is actually kind of sick. At first, I did not understand what the fuck was going on, but now I understand it. And we're gonna go up this ladder now. Oh, level two, baby. Let's go. Food. I, yes, I, I am very hungry. I would absolutely love to get some food. We have some cats and dogs here. Uh, we'll go through this door then. Oh my god, spooky hallway. Oh, we're at the top of the stairs. Interesting. So this is the safe route to go so far. My game is glitching. This guy is scaring me. Is there something? Okay, there's another door on this side. I love the way that you did this. It feels so immersive and cool. But I believe this just leads out to the, okay, barricaded room. So we're going up these stairs now. Well, dude, this is sick. My camera is like really rapid now. Okay, we're in the piano room. I suppose I have to play like a note or something to open a door or somewhat. It feels like, this feels very Resident Evil-y. There's like this door and if I go through this, uh, what? Uh, wait, what objects are these? I have never seen this before in my life. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why everything's also blurry a little bit. That's odd. Uh, I'll just go up the stairs and pretend I did not see that. And then up these stairs, my camera is even faster for some reason. I hate that it does this. Oh, dude, I love the vo Oh, my. Oh, my God. <laughs> Immersion break. Uh, my camera was not coping with being upstairs, but you can tell that this is the upstairs room. There's nothing else here. I suppose you go here and you grab that prism and you won the challenge. Yeah, I hate that the camera does this. They need to fix that. Go do 202. You need to make like video game levels or something because this was actually really fucking impressive. I loved this. Amazing job. The last build we're going to be looking at is Cersei's new hobby by A. Meow. Cersei Beaker combines her new gardening hobby with her old hobby of inflicting pain on others on this groundbreaking research on the seven sins, extreme emotions, and mortality. Or or something like that. Her research question might be poorly defined, but hey, she's on the verge of something really big, and all the medical journals will be fighting over her paper in a couple of months. Just you wait and see. I know everybody talks about how evil Cersei Beaker is, but come on, can't a girl have hobbies? Here we are at Cersei's new hobby. Now, this looks almost exactly, not almost exactly, but it's very similar to the house that the Beakers lived in in The Sims 2, and if you had not caught on yet, this is based off the townies that are in The Sims 2 called the Beaker family, and they are despicable human beings. Despicable. Learn how to pronounce things, damn it. We're gonna do a quick perimeter check, but for the most part, this does look pretty nice. It looks pretty smooth. The entire place is just like covered in windows and it's basically like a mini castle and you can see right in. So there's no way that anything disgusting is going on here. And I know that this is a dungeon challenge. I know that there's probably gonna be a secret room underground, but so far I don't see anything suspicious at all. So there is no way that we need to go and check up on her and see anything that she's doing because I believe that she's doing a great job. In fact, I am willing willingly walking in and oh my god i forgot that they were rich this is so fucking fancy okay we can see that she's definitely the nerdy type she's got a little cow plant situation going on for her new project she's got some nerdy little toys she's got like a little anatomy thing going on <clears throat> it's all looking pretty sweet and i am absolutely here for it you can tell that this is where all the science money is coming in this is all the government funding there's even a roomba that's how you know these bitches be rich there's so many places to go i'm gonna go through here first so this this is like the little testing room. See, look, there is nothing suspicious about it at all. Okay, there is the secret door. We'll come back to this, but so far, like everything is pristine and clean. Uh, does this lead to the backyard? It does, where she has a little chest table. She's got a little upstairs thing, which we'll go in a second. Uh, I wanna go through here. I assume this is like a bathroom. There's gotta be a downstairs bathroom, right? And there is, and it's really clean and spiffy. And you know what? It's really simple. And you know what? You don't, you don't fit, you don't need to fix what ain't broke. That's the saying, I am exhausted. Literally a skeleton in her closet. Ha ha ha. That's fucking clever, actually. I'm gonna go upstairs now. I love that you did that as well. That really tickled me. It tickled my funny bone. <laughs> we have a lot more uh, smarty pants stuff. This is where the stairs led, and it's just like a little balcony situation. So nothing crazy. Nothing you need to worry about right now. Uh, we do have uh, a fucking security door, but it's fine. It's all good. We're gonna go in here now, and it's just more science-y shit. Like, she's just got random bits and bobs everywhere. Oh, well, that's a little silly. Who needs to be in there. That's probably nervous subjects room to be honest. They're still testing on him. Poor guy. We'll go in there in a second as well. We just have, I assume this is her bedroom. I don't know where her husband is. I don't know if her husband still lives with her. I don't know if they're separated at the moment. I don't know if this is her vacation house. I don't know if they broke up. It's none of my fucking business. This is a nice bathroom actually. I actually don't hate that. I'm gonna head upstairs and we have all the cow plants. So this is definitely where the experiments are happening. This is definitely, oh my god, you can like see right through them. What the fuck? Oh, titty. So they have a wonderful little greenhouse 
house. I think this is very cute. This is very nice. You even have like a little beehive situation here. We're gonna go back downstairs. One, where my camera isn't as glitchy. And two, I wanna see what the situation is with Mr. Nervous Subject here. I just assume it's Nervous Subject. We have a sterile bathroom here. So many bathrooms, like y'all really be pissing. And this is his room. Can I just say, you have a little garbage chute here. That's really clever to make it look like you don't even come in this room to feed this guy. Yeah, I mean, he has the internet. He's fine. It's all uh, looking real sad in here. They gave him a fan. You know, that's good for him. I'm just gonna, you know, it's none of my business. And this is just, oh, dude, this is fucking sad. Okay, I hate this. And I'm gonna hate going through the secret door even fucking more. Ay, ay, ay. Down the fucking stairs we go. And what do you look at this? It's just a testing facility. This isn't like abnormal. We have seen some truly fucked up shit. There's something about the seven deadly sins though. There are testing chambers. This is fucking portal or something. Here we, I don't remember the deadly sins. So if I get them wrong, I get them wrong. But I assume this is lust. We're gonna look in here. I don't know who she's like throwing in here. Oh my God, is this a hot tub stream? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, this is definitely lust and greed, I guess at the same time. I don't know. It seems like a bit of both. I don't know who she has locked up down here and I am not, I don't wanna know. Uh, this next one, I don't know what this, this is tiny. I don't, I don't think tiny is a deadly sin. Hold on, I'm gonna Google the deadly sin so I can see what this is. Envy, green with envy. I honestly don't know. Oh, unless it's like a really rich house, then yeah, it might be envy. I'm not sure. I don't actually know. Here we have, oh, this is sloth, 100%. Dude, I be napping in here. No, actually, I, yeah, no, I'm sinful. I would absolutely just fucking brain rot right here. Like, dude, this is so comfy. I don't even care that people are watching me. Can you imagine the movies on that thing? That is fucking fantastic. This one, I think, is pride. Definitely feeling very prideful of your looks. Just everything is all like, look at me, look at me. And I think that that's what that is. I have no idea. Wait, can you see into the other rooms with this thing? You can see in the other rooms when you're in this room. So I don't know. Oh, that's envy maybe because you're looking at other people and you're envious of them. I don't fucking know. I'm just making shit up at this point. This one is wrath. I mean, look at this. Someone is very wrathful in here. Holy shit. You even broke. Oh my God. You even broke it, Mary. You even made a punching sculpture. That is clever. I love how you guys visualize this stuff. It's actually really fucking neat. Ah, uh, yes. The good old gluttony. Bitch, I'm not gluttonous. I'm just hungry all the time. And honestly, I love this room and I hope that they cater to me a lot. I love how I've assumed I'm going in all these rooms, which I'm absolutely not. And this one is greed. I fucking forgot which one it was. And you know, there's just a lot of rich stuff everywhere. I don't even, what? I didn't even know this was an object in the game, to be honest. I'm learning new things every day. Yeah, no, this is the shit. And honestly, I am surprised by these testing facilities. I thought it would be a lot worse than this. I don't know what her hypothesis is. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what the fuck she's cooking, but honestly, let her cook. This was such a creative build and I love your use of the dungeons. Absolutely amazing. Great job.